We are ready for three rounds of action between two men who know nothing else but to Judge. knock out the opposition. Judge, Judge. Referee ready? Atsushi Onari to get us underway. Go. This one brought to you by World Lightweight Championship, the world's largest bare knuckle organization. It's a one super series kickboxing match, the Tower of Power, Al Booney in the black trucks. The Barbers wants to get on the inside, bridge the gap, stay in the pocket, work the body and the jaw. Stay close, stay glued to Albuni. Albuni will want to keep Kababes at range with those long limbs of his. Albuni's throwing out that jab really nice and easy. Really slipping the guard. You can see Kababes marching forward, throwing big shots. Albuni cracks away to the right with Kate. Then goes to the liver. Kababes with a big right hand. Both men swinging the heavy artillery early. They know each other tremendously well. Two Dutch Moroccans who have followed each other's careers closely now clash in one Super Series. Good late check there from Kababes. Albuni gets clipped with an overhand left. Got to keep the clubs up. The counter striking of Kababes. He's awkward, but he's also fast. And he brings power, particularly with these four ounce gloves. Albuni backs off for the moment. Kababes comes forward, hooks up both hands from Kababes. Albuni's got to get up the cage here, give himself some room. He eats a right hand from Kababes. Misses with the outside leg kick. Does the thickly built Kababes. If Albuni wins, you'll see a fantastic celebratory dance from him. High knee from Albuni. Fires the right hand off the cage. There's the left hook from Kababes. And Albuni shrugs him off. Oh, beautiful liver shot from Albuni. And just avenged himself. But that was a gorgeous liver shot off the left hand from Ibrahim Albuni. Here he comes again. The Tower of Power. Controlling sense of cage. Now backs up a little. Trust the jab. Eats a left hook from Kababes. Albuni is landing some beautiful counter shots. The way he's throwing that palm out there, and then he's reaching up, grabbing the head, pulling it down for a huge knee. Kababes, as Mitch said earlier, continually comes forward on his opponents. 45 seconds remain in what has been a ferocious opening round. Step through knee from Albuni. Jab, jab two. While looping punches from Kababes, missed the target. Albuni slips the jab, fires one of his own. There's an overhand run from Albuni. That uppercut went higher than my cholesterol. Good head movement from Albuni. Just that constant pressure, though. He caught him with the left hand. Beautiful left hand. There's a right hand. Albuni in trouble. Albuni shoots it for a takedown. Wrong sport. Wrong move set there from Albuni. He tries a single leg. It was smart from Albuni. Mitch, he locked onto that single leg to avoid himself going down and getting a count. Gave himself a chance to recover because he was wobbled. He was tagged by Kababe. What an opening round. It's one super series in Yankun, Myanmar. Big left hook, caught him turning sideways, caught him right on the chin, caught him with an uppercut. He held himself up. He held himself, up. He held himself down, up. Grabs the single leg there. One of those shots was so powerful it knocked the shoe off the referee. <laughs> it was huge. <laughs> the size 11s flew off the feet of referee Atsushi Onari. What a contest. And look at that cut and Mouse under the left eye of El Booney. That's a ripper. My word, you can take that home as a souvenir. What a first round, Mitch! Man, El Booney was trying to counter punch. He was trying to, you know, find that perfect range of countering those shots from Kababes, but Kababes just kept coming forward. He's like a tank. He's like a human tank. He keeps rolling forward. And no matter what El Booney hit him with, Kababes was not stopping, just rolling right through the village. The Village, says Mitch Chilton. Here we go, second round. The first oh, was an absolute grim slaughter. What have they got in store for us here? It's a one Super Series kickboxing contest. Ibrahim El Bouni, Tarek Kebabe. Three judges are scoring on a 10-point must system, so you give the winner of the round 10 points, the loser of the round nine points. Who do you think won the first? There's a nice short right hand from El Bouni. Similar right hand to what did the damage of Andre Munier last time out. Overhand right from Albuni, a left hook and a straight right hand from Kababes. Albuni's head is low. He's 
action exposed, and he ties up Kababes for preservation. Boy, he can't get caught in those close round exchanges. He's got to keep that pressure away. He oh, the body shot! The liver shot falls him in half! The liver shot falls him in half! And the mouth guard came out of Elbuni. There'll be a caution there from referee Onari. It may have been a deliberate spit of the mouth guard to give him some breathing room because he took a thunderous liver shot. Once that left hand drives up between the ribs, impacts the vagus nerve, it can close down the body in a hurry. And there's a standing count on Ibrahim Elbuni. Tarek Kebabe is doing a number on Elbuni. How will the tower of power respond here? Kebab is oozing confidence out of every pore. He's got to slow down that pressure. That tank is rolling through. He's got to utilize that jab, circle out. He can't get caught up there against the fence. That's where Kebab is, does his best work. Kebab is continually trying to get on the inside, trying to stay in the pocket. That's where he's most comfortable. Albuni's got to keep him at range. Use the jab, use the front kick, the chin's down again. Second knockdown on Albuni. One more in this round and it's over for Albuni. Three knockdowns in one round is a TKO, but Albuni bounds up by the count of seven or eight. One minute five remaining. Kebabes can smell a finish, perhaps. Left hand from Kebabes. He's a house on fire here. Body shot. Almost lifts Albuni off the canvas. He's going to go down again. No, Albuni stays standing, but he may be right for the pick in. He's right for the pick in. Albuni's trying to bob and weave, but he can't. The pressures just keep coming from Kebabes. Albuni, he's taking more shots than an alcoholic here in the second round. It's all one-way traffic. It's all Kebabes. But Albuni somehow still here. Ducks and weaves, each another left hand. The chin's going too low, and Kebabes is punishing him. Got to get off the cage here, Albuni. Albuni going to make it. Oh, another liver shot, another liver shot. That liver taking punishment now. Kebabes hunting forward, looking for that big shot to end the night. The one hit a quitter. Final 10 seconds, Kebabes looking for the finish, looking for the knockout. And Albuni may see out the round. He'll get some much needed instruction. We are going to go into the third. It's all Tarek Kebabes. It's all the man with the power hands. This is Kebabes at his finest. Looking forward to this. Look, closing the distance, negating that giant reach advantage. Coming in, looking for these short range shots. Albuni's got to keep his wits about him. He's got to keep his head moving. He can't stay stationary because once he does, boom, he gets caught with those big, monstrous, lunchbox size hands of Kababes, and he just unloads on Albuni. He's got to keep moving. He's got to utilize the jab, maybe some push kicks. Just keep Kababes away. He's got to unload. This is one Super Series. If you're just a new viewer tonight, one Super Series is the striking arm of one championship. The best strikers of all styles on the planet are part of one Super Series. I'm talking Yods and Play. Smoke and Joe Nutterwatt, Nikki Holtzkin recently signed, Giorgio Petrosian, Sam A. Gayang Hadao, Longo Gayang Hadao, and a whole lot more oh. bigger stars all on the one Super Series roster. Here we go, third and final round of what has been an absolute cracker. I'm surprised we're seeing a third round, Michael. This is Ibrahim Al Burni. You cannot write him off. And Kebab is in the pocket again. He could compete in a telephone booth. Kebab comes forward, double forearms guard. Good right hand to the side of the jaw, goes to the liver again. That volume that Kebab throws, it forces his opponents to retreat. They try to move their head, they try to bob and weave, but Kebab just keeps going forward like that. He's constantly attacking and he knocked the mouth guard out of Albumi. There were two knockdowns for Kebabes in the second round. Three knockdowns in the round, it would have been over. And you see that Kebabes continually attacking the liver. Large organ in the upper right portion of the abdomen. It's a highly vascular area. A shot from the liver can be excruciatingly painful. It's about the size of a football. Mostly protected by the ribcage, but still slightly exposed. And if you turn the knuckles up, the kingdom between the ninth and tenth cage will hit that vagus nerve, and that's what closes the body down on a good liver shot. And you see Kebabes go straight back to that liver. And there's a left hook. Kebabes having 
to weather another storm against the cage bench here. Got to get off the cage. Goes back to centering. Big outside leg kick from Kebabes. Two minutes remain. What an absolute classic this has been. Left hook to Barbies. There's a straight right hand. Smack back between the eyes. Albuni with the jab. Leads the right hand for Kaepernick. There it is to the bread basket. Belly button through the back. And again from Albuni. Body shot from Kebabes. Hits Albuni's damage for the ball. And referee Onari calls time. He's going to get a yellow card here, Al Booney. Al Booney receiving a yellow card from referee Ogari that will impact his perks. And continue here in the third and final. Kebabes, this monster, comes forward. Look how he tries to cut off the movement of Al Booney. How he forces Al Booney on the outside. He has done for the entire contest. See, competing in cage is not something, you know, Kababes is used to. He's used to cornering people, backing up into the corner and then unloading on him. But this cage is giving Albuni a lot of room to run, but now he's not. Oh, Albuni takes it off the guys in trouble now! Albuni taking more knocks than a front door, but somehow he's still standing. Albuni's now got out again. He could receive a portion here from referee Onari. It's usually a sign of fatigue. And you see, Albini takes a breather there. The corner of Kebabes is screaming out. Albini doesn't want to go on here. He's looking for a way out. But that's not in the nature of Ibrahim Albini. He comes home with a jab too. And here comes the powerhouse. Here comes Kebabes. Boom with the left hand. Look how he leads against the cage. Albini spins. Albini's done for here. shot at a one Super Series belt. Beautiful display of tenacity and toughness and just constant pressure from Tarek Kababes. Look at this, senses the momentary weakness, actually a long weakness from Al Booty and just jumps all over him, just landing shots to the body, utilizing those giant hands, really putting the pressure on Al Booty. Al Booty was looking for a way out, Tarek Kababes gave him that way out. What a performance, Tarek Kebab is absolutely monstered. Yeah. Ibrahim Al Booney for three rounds. My word, let's go to Dominic Lau. To present the medal for this match, we have Dr. Saint Yolan, Director of Operations World Lethway Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Atsushi O, oh, called a stop to this contest. After two minutes and 26 seconds in the third and final round, for your winner, by way of technical knockout, Tariq Kababes! Tariq Kababes pulls off a shot in the kickboxing world. He says he wants gold around his waist. He gets a winner's medal around his neck and he'll take back to the Netherlands.